It's only natural to want to find out what the Shih Tzu price range is for puppies. After all, with today's economy, one does not want to overpay for anything, and that includes a pet which is usually considered a large purchase. It is a large purchase not only because of the cost of a Shih Tzu, but also due to all of the related items that an owner will need to obtain. It can certainly add up. In addition to items needed at the time of bringing the puppy home such as a bed, pee pads, food and water dishes, possibly a playpen to keep the pup contained, leashes, harnesses, and so forth, there are also ongoing costs such as veterinary visits, dog food, and grooming supplies. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. Exclamation mark. Shih Tzu price range. We will be discussing the price range for a Shih Tzu puppy in the United States. Obviously, price will differ in other parts of the world. Factors that affect prices will, in general, also be relevant to pups in Canada and elsewhere. It is important to know all of the reasons why one puppy may cost so little compared to another. The average price of a Shih Tzu puppy in the United States is between $750 to $3,000. One of the biggest factors that affects the cost of a Shih Tzu puppy is location within the United States. It's all about supply and demand. In the southern states, where there are a lot of breeders, prices are typically on the low end. You may be able to find Shih Tzu puppies for as little as $500 to $700. However in the England area, where there are very few home breeders, prices are generally on the high end, at least starting at $1,000 and going up from there. To find the average price in your particular area, look to the two elements of supply and demand. For supply, how many Shih Tzu breeders are in your state? In regard to demand, with the Shih Tzu being a popular toy-sized purebred, demand is always quite high. Does price even matter? Yes, price matters 99% of the time. There are rare exceptions. Let's say for example, that a person has a quality, healthy Shih Tzu and is no longer able to care for the dog. In this rare case, one may decide to give their precious dog away for free to a good home. They may be placing the happiness of the dog over money. However, price does matter in most cases. Think about it if a breeder were advertising that they had purebred AKC Shih Tzu show quality puppies for sale for only $100 each, would you be hesitant? Would you wonder why the pups were being sold so cheap? It is an enormous red flag. Just about anything of quality has a price to match it. With this being said, a potential owner should understand how pricing is done, and this is important because it goes the opposite way as well. Just because something is priced high does not mean it is high quality. Free or low priced puppies. If a Shih Tzu is not carefully bred he or she can have many health issues. Some may be apparent at birth and others will not show up for years but when they do you may find yourself emptying your nest egg to pay for vet bills. Additionally, poorly bred dogs will not meet the breed standards. Not only will a potential owner find that as the pup grows into an adult that they do not have the classic appearance of the breed, but it can also cause problems such as hip dysplasia and many more. There are exceptions, however, we would strongly recommend not even checking into the purchase of a Shih Tzu puppy if a breeder is asking less than $500. AKC vs CKC, or other registries. We should first mention that there is no registry that runs perfectly. All have flaws and all have elements that they need to work on. With this being said, while there are some issues with AKC, they are the strictest registry in the US and they keep a close eye on all breeders, demanding that they follow guidelines that others do not ask for. This is all done with good intentions, for the health of the dogs and to preserve, maintain, and improve the bloodline of the breed. If a breeder does not follow the guidelines, they will be taken out of the program and have to then choose a different kennel club. You will find that AKC puppies cost more than those that are CKC registered, Continental Kennel Club not to be confused with the very respected Canadian Kennel Club. Again, while each has pros and cons, the CKC allow anyone to register a dog as a purebred without any proof other than the signature of two witnesses. 
There are many people who take advantage of this. With AKC, one will have proof that a puppy is indeed purebred. How to choose where to buy a Shih Tzu puppy? To sum things up and keep it simple, we would suggest a middle ground. Stay away from puppies that are so cheap they are practically being given away. And, unless you are planning to show and you have experience in determining show quality, stay away from overly expensive puppies. Go with a small, home-based, devoted breeder whose available puppies fall within the $750 to $2,500 range, and be sure that the price makes sense based on your region. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.